Well, we're in an excellent position, I think, for the first match. Um, all the teams have arrived in Guyana. They've gone through a five-day quarantine period. They've had some practice sessions. As we see right now, they're doing some warm-up matches. So I think they're in good nick for the first game that will be bowled off on Friday. All the teams are you know, very excited to play in this tournament. They're very excited to be in the West Indies. And um, I'm very happy to say that all the facilities that they've played at right now are in excellent condition and they're very happy with what, we've, what we're offering to them. Two years ago when we started planning for this tournament, I was told that this, and even before that, I was told that this was one of the most logistically challenged tournaments that ICT had. Um, now when you add COVID with it, it becomes even more challenging and it's proven true. So we've had numerous challenges um, hosting this tournament and getting people here in the West Indies. Just before the tournament, uh, people were scheduled to fly, the Omicron variant came about. You know, it shut down airports, it, it, it um, saw countries having restriction on different nationalities and South Africa being one of them. So we had to work with governments, not only in the West Indies, but abroad, to get teams to be able to come here. And then of course, there's the, um, the isolation periods and the, the, the hotels and meals. It's a logistic challenge, but thankfully we've had um, experience with this. Since um, we hosted, well, since we went to England, when it was the first biosecurity environment, and then since then, we've hosted numerous teams in the West Indies as well. So we had good experience with it. I mean, the, the difficulty is that we've never had 16 teams here in a, in a biosecure environment. And that in itself is a challenge. And of course, they're under 19 boys too. So you have to make a little bit more effort for them too, because recognizing you can't keep boys um, under 19 in five days without some sort of entertainment and, you know, ability to move around. But we've got there, you know, everybody's well, and they're happy to be on the field right now, stretching their legs and getting a chance to play. Yeah, so it's a 50% capacity. Um, again, the game is free. Of course, if you want to attend the matches, you must be fully vaccinated. We, had, we, we recommend that you go online at um, www.u19cwc.com backslash tickets and get your tickets. Like I said, it's free, but with the restrictions in place at 50% capacity, it's good if you can get your ticket uh, beforehand so that if you, when you come to the venue, you, know, you can get in. Well, we have some objectives at Cricket West Indies that we want to achieve. Um, one, we are trying to provide facilities for these young men um, that will mirror what they can expect at the highest level. And if we can achieve that, we've done our part here at Cricket West Indies. Um, that, only, that doesn't only benefit the under-19 boys who are playing right now. It, it, it benefits everyone in the West Indies, all the young players who aspire to make to the highest level. We will have, at the end of this tournament, 21 facilities that meet international and ICC standards, so that's a plus. It also serves as a good motiva motivation for any young man or young woman who wants to um, play cricket. I mean, how, how else can you quantify a young man having taken an exam last week uh, you know, in class, but today he's on field, playing for the West Indies, making the winning runs for the team. I mean, you, you can't get that kind of exposure, that kind of experience unless you play at this highest level. So this tournament allows us to you know, in, attract young men and women into the game and it also allows us to develop the facilities to encourage them to perform at the highest level.